Hello and welcome to this quick screencast on how you can use Photoshop to prepare an image at a specific pixel size and a compressed size so that you can utilize it on the web and it's going to be a lot easier for your end user when they download those images so it's not taking a lot of time and it's optimized for the web. So I have an image here of Dr. Leslie DeMar, president of CSU Pueblo and she's given the woof and now we want to go and crop her down and get her into a size that we could potentially use this one for a profile image on the website. So there's a few ways that you could attack this and uh, it would potentially be more difficult one way or the other. So the first inclination sometimes are for people to go and use the selection tool to try to you know, crop a specific image out and you notice that when you start cropping it out it's going to give you some width and height and inches and in that little pop-up that shows there. Uh, that's one way. Another way might be to go ahead and use your crop tool and crop it down to a specific width or size. Uh, again, you're going to get everything within the, uh, the inches there. Uh, I believe you could, what you could do is you could probably swap this out to pixels. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to back out of this and I'll go up here. If I right click on the, uh, the pixel toolbar there, I'm going to turn everything into pixels. So if I go to my crop, crop it down, everything's going to be in pixels. So in this case, we may want to go ahead and crop it down to a specific pixel size. In this instance, uh, we were going to do like 110, 110 pixels there, about 150. And you'll notice that it's kind of a wonky way to do it. It's really tough to just nail in on that exact size. Um, I suppose you could go ahead and type it in right here. Let's see if we can get it to go there. So you get the 110 by 150. Now what you're going to get is it's going to instantly ask you to crop the image and then if you crop it you get a little chunk of her face. If you click on the image itself, I'm going to go ahead and release the layer by double clicking and hitting OK. You don't have much of the picture except her face. So it's not really an efficient way to crop that image down to the exact size. So I'm going to back out, back to where we were at before. And I'm going to show you the way that you can do it um, utilizing a new file and placing this picture right into uh, your desired size. So this picture right now, if you take a look at it, it's a gargantuan. We're only at 66%. If we zoomed in, you'd actually see it at the full ratio that you want to do. So this is my way of sizing that picture down. You go to File, go to New, and what you'll do is you'll adjust it to the size that you want. So I want the width to be 110 pixels, and I want the height to be 150 pixels. Resolution, all you need is 72 for the web, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the transparent background, color mode, everything else the same, and I'll hit OK. So there we go, that's the exact size that we want to utilize our picture. So next you can go to File, and Place, and then find your picture and place it right into your image. Now one thing's going to happen, it's going to try to constrain that image to the exact proportions it is and put it into that image and there's a little X through it to let you know that uh, you're trying to put it in there. Now one misstep that people tend to do is they're going to go instantly go in here, oh let me try to size this and they grab one of the sides and then they start trying to adjust it so it kind of fits in there and it looks really good. But one thing that you're going to notice, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit right now, is it squashes the image. Uh, and that's not what we want. We can't have this squashed image on there. It's going to look terrible on the web. It's going to look pretty amateur. So there's a better way to do this. I'm going to hit escape out. I'm going to go ahead and file and place it once again. Get that image. And the trick here is, I'm going to just uh, zoom out just a tad here. If you're wondering what I'm doing to zoom out, I'm holding control on the keyboard and hitting the plus and minus. And that's a quick way to zoom in and out of an image. But here's the trick. You see these little handlers on the corners there. You don't want to touch the sides. You want to grab the corners. But before you even click and drag anything, what you want to do is hold shift on your keyboard. What shift does is it holds the, and constrains the proportions. So you can't really skew the image. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. I'm letting go of the mouse first. Now I'm letting go of shift. And I can go ahead and start adjusting this image. So I'm going to get it in there again. I'm going to hold shift again. I'm going to go to that corner. And I'm going to start pulling that image to the correct size. Letting go of the mouse, letting go of shift, 
and now I'm going to get her face right into the image. So we're getting it really close to where we want it to be. Now that I got it there, what I can do is just double click or hit enter on the keyboard and you're going to place that image. And you got your image perfectly set, no skewing, no distortion to that image. Now the final step is to actually save it for the web. So if you go to this file, you can actually just, you could save it and you can save it as JPEG. But I tend to go to save for web because it gives you a lot of uh, compression options. So off on the right hand side here, it gives you the type of file you might want to save it out as. So I have it set as PNG right now. I'm going to click the drop down. I'm going to hit JPEG. So there's a few things that it does. Uh, first off, if I'm looking at this, let me kind of adjust this so you can see it when we look in the window here. Um, I have it on JPEG. It's a high compression quality. Um, I can look at different versions of your JPEG by looking at the 4-up, 2-up, uh, and seeing the different versions. So if you look right here, this is our original version. It's at 64 kilobytes. Um, if we do it 60% quality and you look at the two images here, they're really close to being the same, but look how much you save. You're only at 7 kilobytes if you go to the 60% quality. And on down the line, if you look at the various other areas, you know, if you go to 30% uh, quality and 15% quality, you really can see some of the degradation here in the stands and near uh, her hair. Um, there's a little bit of noise there at that 30% quality, so it's really how much you're going to save. You're going from 7 to 4 there. I'm going to say that I'm going to kick it out at that 60% quality. I like that one. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to go to my optimized. And uh, since I clicked on that one, that's one that's going to take 60% quality. Off on the right here, you can adjust your quality if you needed to do anything more. I think we're good to go. So next, I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button to get that on there. I'll hit save. That's going to take it to a dialog box where we can save it. So give it a name. And I'll even put sized and save. So now I have saved this for the web, compressed it, and I have this nice image, Leslie DeMar, in the exact pixel ratio, no distortion, ready to go. Hopefully this has been helpful. Have a good one.